Okay, here's my completed cell with my gaskets in it. Uh, you'll see that I've gone ahead and uh, done a little pre-wiring here. And I've got one side with the output for the gas to come out already installed. Uh, this side I haven't put the fitting on yet, but I'm going to do that after I get it mounted to the brackets. And those bolts extending out hook onto the brackets for the back. And I've got a couple here for the ones in the front. So let me crawl underneath the truck here and get this thing installed and we'll get it hooked up and I'll be back in a little bit. Well everybody, I uh, was working on the truck. I got it all installed. I was get, getting ready to fire it up and show everybody how it was working. And it started pouring rain. So uh, we got a rain delay. Game called of rain. Okay, so once again we're back here at my SID cell. And as you can see I've mounted it inside my Dodge truck here. Let me show you down there. I've got another bracket going to the front bumper there. Uh, it's in here actually rather secure. Okay, and I've got it plumbed up here to my bubbler. And then back down from the bubbler, down through, and there's another tube that goes down to the bottom of the cell back there for return fluid. And then I'm wired here, going up over here to my relay. Now I had a little problem, uh, right when I fired this up, uh, the cell is very efficient and I use my normal mixture of three, tables, three teaspoons of sodium hydroxide into a gallon of distilled water and the cell went crazy. It went up to about 120 amps. So I've gone in, cut back now, I'm down to uh, less than a teaspoon, probably about three quarters of a teaspoon in a gallon, and I'm still drawing 60 amps. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut you off for just a second. I'm going to get my key in here and fire this up and let you see how much gas production there is. Uh, I don't have a good uh, HHO meter yet. I'll rig one up tonight and then show you that tomorrow. Okie doke, so here we go, I'm going to flip my switch on, and if we look down here at the cell, you'll notice that gas comes out almost instantaneously. And we'll get down here a little bit closer, let you see, this thing is pumping out gas. And we got good flow going there through my bubbler. Okay, just show you. It is coming out of the cell. So I've got good gas flow here. I've timed it out a couple times with my little one liter bottle in the bucket routine here and I figure I'm getting about four liters per minute right now and that's running at about 55 amps and I'd like to show it to you a little bit better uh, my neighbors decided he's gonna start mowing the lawn right now so I'm not gonna do this right now we'll come back later on and we'll go from there okay I've decided to go ahead and do a little work here on the cell and beef up my wiring I've gone ahead and up my feeder wires to six gauge feeders with four gauge wires feeding them uh, going back to my ground spot and to my relay in addition to that I've gone and installed a pump uh, you'll see it here in the next frame uh, to help feed the electrolytes and to circulate it into my cell and it's starting to get dark now so I'm not going to have a chance to go ahead and fire this up and get some video on it for you but I wanted to go ahead and put it on this clip so you see what I'm doing and see what I will have for tomorrow. You have a good day. Uh, see you again. Check back with me tomorrow.